Hello, hello, hello. This is Humberto Hernandez again, and I'm doing this now in English because I have some people in Indonesia that they are following me, that they are expecting to uh, listen this uh, live or this podcast that we're making right now. Uh, most of the time I'm doing this in Spanish, but this time because of them and because I promised them, I'm going to start doing this now also on English. So I hope they can see this uh, live uh, later on during the day or they can see it, uh, as I said, uh, in a short term. So anyway, let's let's start again with all the energy, with all the things. I'm, I'm very excited because the, the topic that we're going to discuss today is an excellent topic. It's something that is juicy, something that is really, really good, and you're going to love it. So what we're going to discuss today, it is related to the five tips, the five advices that can change your life five things that can change your life but before i forgot if you are seeing this video later on even if you are not from indonesia if you are living here in the states or you're living around the world and you are listening to this uh, uh youtube live please do me a favor give me a like share subscribe and make sure that you click on the bell so it's going to advise you every time that i'm alive that i'm live i'm sorry and i'm doing this uh every monday at 6 30 uh, central time uh u.s central time so again if you listen to this i hope you are please make sure that you give us a like okay subscribe share and again click on the bell so it's gonna let you know when i'm doing this live so let's let's start again these are five tips that i think if you start applying those definitely they will change your life number one let's start with the number one read 30 minutes at least per day read 30 minutes per day okay that's very important make sure that we are reading at least 30 minutes on daily basis that's the best way that you're going to start let's say feeding your mind that you're going to start educating yourself in that time that you're investing is the best time that you can do and is the best investment that you can do when you start investing in yourself in your knowledge believe me yes or yes that will be the best investment that you can ever make so start investing in yourself on daily basis and it's very important that you know this okay the good ideas should not bother you the good ideas should come to you but based on the needs that you're looking for on the things that you are pursuing so those ideas should be helping you to achieve that what you are pursuing that's what you're looking for that's what you're trying to achieve okay so and those good ideas yes or yes will be coming out of what you're reading out of what you're preparing out of what you are uh, listening because when I'm say 30 minutes to read, I'm also including on this advice, every podcast that you're listening, every YouTube live that you're listening, every book that you're reading, every book that you are listening, audiobooks, okay, that's included on this advice, okay? Every information should be important. Now, when I say you need to read, to read at least 30 minutes, I'm not talking about those magazines that, uh, you know has that uh, uh uh the 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 information that is not what you're looking for that is not gonna fit you that is not going to uh you know help you to achieve what you're looking for okay so please make sure that you read 30 minutes every time okay and another advice that i would like to give you it is when you are in your car driving from home to uh, work or from one appointment to another appointment. So make sure that you convert your car in a university on wheels. Okay. So that's something that you must do. That time that you are driving, because we, some of you or some of us, spend a lot of time driving. So imagine if you convert that time in something very productive. So that's my advice. Make sure that you convert that time into your university on the university on wheels so make sure that you are really take advantage of that time that you're spending on the car listening educating yourself 
feeding yourself, but feeding the brain, feeding your mind. Okay, so again, that's the number one advice. Read 30 minutes. Let's go to number two. Number two. So as, as you are trying to, you know, view your mind or feeding your mind, you have to work also on your body. You have to take care of your body. You have to take care of your healthy. Imagine this, okay? With all the knowledge that you're acquiring, if you are, or let's say when you are about to implement some of that knowledge that you have learned, but physically you are not strong enough, you don't have that healthy. So guess what? You won't be able to do anything. So body and mind should not be separate, should not be fighting each other. They have to be together. So body, okay, I'm sorry, body and mind should be all the time together. Okay, body and mind should be always stay together. Okay, we have to make both of them as strong, as strong enough. Because whenever you decide to do something, something that you have been learning, you have to be ready. You're Physical has to be ready. Your body has to be ready, okay? And most of the time, we always say, hey, I don't have time to exercise. I don't have time to read. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can say that all the time. But again, it's really time that you can expand. Imagine that you're waking up in the morning and you start only with five minutes. Who doesn't have five minutes to exercise? Every one of us have five minutes to exercise. So you must invest those five minutes exercising. Something that I'm going to tell you out of my experience, when I'm exercising, when I'm walking, when I'm running, uh, is the time that I really start, you know, receiving more ideas. It's like a, it's raining ideas, it's raining, you know, knowledge. And, and, and I was doing that today because I, I run on, I well, I didn't run. It was, I was walking on Saturday and Sunday while I was watching the volleyball tournaments of my daughter. I take advantage and said, well, she's not playing right now. I'm going to walk. So I walk like a two miles on Sunday, two miles on Sunday. And during that time, believe me, a lot of ideas to start coming to me. A lot of ideas start coming to me. It's like, well, I feel so good. And today I was writing down all those ideas that I was thinking while I was exercising. Again, that's the advantage when you are exercising, when you are spending time doing this type of activity. So again, that's something very important that you must do. You have to become stronger. You have to fit your body. You have to get stronger and stronger every time on your healthy. Okay, so let's go to number three. Number three, always look for a role model. Okay, on anything that you're looking for, on anything that you want to improve, or on anything that you are, you know, fighting, that you are uh, pursuing, make sure that you have a role model that can help you to understand, to take you to that level, to take you to that goal that you're looking for, okay? Remember this, the success is start leaving some footprints, okay? The success leaves some footprints. So you must follow those footprints. Doesn't matter if it's your mentor, your coach, your, uh, uh, body, whatever, someone, look for that role model, for that person that you admire, that person that has already walked that, uh, uh, let's say, way, okay? So make sure you follow that person that inspires you, that, you know, uh, makes you feel like a, you are uh, wanting to go and start doing and start doing. So follow that mentor, follow that role model, follow that uh a coach that you that it really inspiring you so you must have something in mind depending what you're looking for depending what you're trying to improve depending what you're trying to achieve you need to look for that mentor for that uh coach for that person that can inspire you and can help you to take you to the next level okay and let's go to number four number four this is something that i love it Apply DDA, discipline, decision, and action. 
but massive action. On everything that you do, you must apply the DDA, discipline, decision, and action, but massive action. That's what you have to do. Apply that massive action every time, okay? Because if you do not apply that DDA, that massive action all the time, doesn't matter how much time you spend, you know, uh, learning, uh, feeding your body, feeding your mind. But if you do not apply action at the end, all that knowledge, and don't take me wrong, the best investment that you can do is on yourself and your knowledge, you know, increasing your knowledge. But at the end, as I said, if you don't put action, action, driven action, DDA, but massive, then it's not worth it. You have to put action on everything that you have learned, on everything that you have, uh, you know, uh, reading, you must put some action in place. So you must follow that. Massive action on everything that you do massive action you have to make sure that all the movement that you're producing is really helping you and let me tell you something else not everything that is moving is producing not everything that it is taking action it will produce so you have to be smart enough that that action that you're going to be doing that movement that you're going to start doing it will produce something and that something is related what you're looking for, what you are pursuing. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense because that's what you have to do. Not everything that is moving is producing. So make sure that if you're moving, if you're putting action, is something that is going to add value. Is something that is going to add something to that goal that you are pursuing. Okay. So let's go. Let's go to number five, and this is probably for me at least the most important one so hopefully you are doing this too okay give more than what you are expecting to receive okay give more every time i'm gonna try to translate these because i don't know how to say it really uh i will say that uh madre teresa mother teresa uh she said give until it hurts something like that okay so you have to do you have to give everything that you have everything that you have in your mind and do that without expecting to receive something okay because i can assure you a hundred percent of the time if you are doing that from your bottle from the bottle of your heart from your soul from your mind from your heart is going to come back 10 times more. So you are truly giving more than you are receiving, giving more than you are expecting. 100% I will tell you that you will receive more. So I hope that you listen to this advice. And if you haven't read this book, you have you must read it, uh, which is The Go-Giver. That's a, a book that is coming from Bob Burke and John David. This is the Spanish version, by the way, but there is an English version, The Go-Giver. Read that book. You're going to like it. You're going to love it. Okay? But this, for me, the last one I'm telling you, if you're giving more than you're expecting to receive, if you are giving more from your heart, from your soul, I assure you that you're going to receive 10 times more or even more. I hope you like these advices, and most important, I hope that you implement these five tips, these five advices that we just talked, okay? Thank you so much for your time, and as I said, do us that favor, give us a like, share, subscribe, and make sure that you click on the bell so it's going to let you know whenever we're doing this live. All Mondays at 6.30. I expect to see you next Monday at 6.30. And again, share, give us a like, okay, and subscribe, which is the most important. And again, do click on the bell so it's going to advise when we are alive, okay? Thank you so much. And as I said, 
I know who am I and I know where am I. But I also know that I'm not yet who I can be and I'm not what I can be yet. Okay? Thank you. See you at the top and see you soon. God bless you. Take care and see you soon.